Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to do QR code detection with OpenCV. So I'm going to show you how we can print some QR codes, then we can then we can actually like detect them with OpenCV. So we're going to open up our camera, we're going to have a couple of QR codes that we're going to detect with OpenCV. Then we can also see what do we actually like get directed to with that. Uh, so we can actually like both get the tag, we can get like the ID, uh, the bounding box around our QR code. So we can use that information for a lot. QR code is actually like used often in computer vision applications for detecting different kinds of things and also just because we can detect the QR code, we can use that information for a lot of different kind of applications. So here in this video, I'm going to show you how we can do QR detection in OpenCV. So we're gonna jump straight into Visual Studio Code. I'm going to show you how we can do live QR code detection. So again, I basically just have the script. We're importing the modules that we need. We open up our video capture. We just take um, the second here. So this is the webcam that I'm going to open up. We set the resolution of our camera to 10, like 1280 by 720. So this is the resolution of my camera. You can go in and specify the one for your camera as well. Uh, if you have a HD or like full HD camera, if you don't specify anything, it will just be 640 by 480. We're going to use Ohm's V QR code detector. We're basically just going to create the object like this or an instance of our object. So we just have cv2.qr code detector. We just set that equal to our detector. So we're going to use this later on. We're going to have this while loop where we're just opening up our webcam. So we're running inside of this while loop as long as our webcam is open. We read in a frame from our webcam, we store it in this invariable that we can then use later on and actually like pass through our QR code detector. We start a timer so we can see and time how, how long it actually like takes to do this QR detection and see how many frames per second are we actually like able to get. We're going to run this on a CPU, but we're still going to run this in real time. It doesn't really take up that much processing power to just do QR code detection. This is also one of the good things about like QR code detections with OpenCV. It runs really fast and it can be used for a lot of different kind of like projects and applications uh, where you basically want to detect QR codes for uh, if you want to do pick up some things, if you just want to have like um, certain areas that you want to like map, you can detect different like QR codes. Uh, you can get the links to the QR codes and all those different kind of things. So we can actually like, create a lot of applications and projects on top of the QR code uh, detector. You can create your own QR codes and then you can also use it um, with this code that I'm sharing. Then we just check if the value, so this QR code detector, we just call the function detect and decode. So we both want to detect the QR code in our image, but we also want to decode our QR code so we can get like uh, the link uh, the link that it wants to redirect us to and all those different kind of things. So we basically just decode the information of our QR code. We just throw in the image to our detector. We get back the QR code, the actual like QR code. We get the points of our QR code, so to detect the QR code, and then we also get the value. So this will be basically like a link to our website based on a QR code. So we have the value, points, and also the QR code that we have detected. We just go in and check if the value is not equal to empty. So if we actually like detect a QR code with a, a specific value, then we just go in and extract the points. So we have the X1, the Y1, the X2, and the Y2. So it will be the top left corner and the bottom right corner that we want to have here. So this is the top left corner and the bottom right corner. And this is the way that we're actually just extracting those corners of our points. We can also take the first point and the third point, and then we can actually like get all the points around our detected QR code, but we only need here in OpenCV to draw a rectangle around it. We only need uh, those two points, so the top left and the bottom right corner. We also want to find the, the center of our QR code. This can be used for a lot of different kind of applications as well. So if you don't want really want to have like, um, let's say like a bounding box around our QR code, uh, we basically we don't really need that. We can basically just like calculate the center and then just use the center of our QR codes. This can actually be used for if you have two cameras and then you detect the same QR code in uh, in both cameras. You can just take the center of those two cameras. You can use their revision to actually calculate the depth to the QR code. So this is one example for a project or applications uh, that you can where you can actually use QR code detection. And this is and that is actually like a really cool application. So I actually like recommend you guys if you have a stereo camera to actually like try that out, or if you just have like. Uh, two cameras, you can try to align them. You can use my stereo calibration scripts if you want to create like a smaller project. And then you can try to like calculate distances to the detected QR code. So this is actually like a really nice starting project that you can work on. 
we just have here we basically just have a rectangle a circle and put out text of our value so when we have detected a qr code we're just going to specify the top left corner and the bottom right corner and also the color and the thickness of our rectangle that we want to draw so we're basically just drawing the bounding box around the detected qr code we also want to draw a circle at the center of our detected QR code. Again, we just specify the exact same values here at the end. But we also want to put out some text. We want to put out the act like value of the detected QR code. So this will actually like be a link for our decoded QR code. Then when we're done with that, we end our timer, we calculate the total time and also the number of frames per second. So we can see how fast this QR code detection um, acts like runs. We put out the text here with the number of frames per second as well. So we basically just have the number of frames per second. And then under that, uh, we just print out the value of our detected QR code um, if we have that. Then we're just going to show the image with the detected QR code, the, the bounding box around it, and also the circle in the middle. Then we just have a wait key. We're waiting. If we just want to terminate our program, we can hit escape or Q on our keyboard. If we hit escape on our keyboard, it will release our webcam and destroy all the windows that we have opened up. So this is basically like the whole program for doing QR code detection. We open up a webcam, we read an, uh, read an image, we throw it through our optic detector or like our QR code detector. We get out these values, we just extract the information and then we just visualize the information um, on our image. You can also extract information, do um, some other post-processing of that information. So now we're actually like just running the program. I'll just take the window a bit over here to the left and then I just have a bunch of QR codes that we can try out and see the results from. So here we have the first one. We're just going to put it up in front of the camera and now we can see that we're actually like detecting this QR code. Um, we also get the value up at the top under the frames per second. So here we can see when we're doing the detection, when we're actually like visualizing the results, we get around 30 frames per second. And again, we're running this on the CPU. Uh, again, here we basically just get the link. You can just, instead of putting it out here on the image, uh, you can just throw the link to some other different kind of like things if you want to create some applications on top of this. But here, this is what the first QR code. This acts like a pretty like advanced QR code. We can try to like take it further away and it should actually like, still be able to do some detections. Uh, so this is actually like still a really good detection of our QR code. Again, I just have a bunch of different kind of like QR codes that we can test out. So this is for a link for iTunes on uh, on Apple's website. For every 30 frames per second again. So still really good. We can see that when the paper is bending, it acts like loses track or detection of the QR code. Again, we can see the sender of a QR, detected QR code. And then again, the bounding box around it. So I just have a couple of more here that we can run through. I can try to take it a bit further away from the camera and we can see that we're still able to get some detections. I have a bit of reflections from the outside, like from this, from the light outside. Um, so again, this is actually like a really good detector. I have tried out a bunch of different kinds of detectors. There's also called something called C-Bar. Um, I've tested out different kinds of detectors, but this from OpenCV here actually like works pretty good. I just have another one here. So this is hellotech.com really nice and stable detections that it's doing. So this is actually like a pretty simple QR code detection. I can try to take it further back and, and to see like how far, uh, far away can I act like do the detections. So for this specific QR code it is actually like able to do detections pretty far away. So I'm actually like really impressed by that. Again, if you have a higher resolution camera, uh, you might you might even be able to get further away. This is a mo even more simple. Uh, this is an even more simple QR code. So let's try to see if we can actually like, see that further away compared to the other one. So this is actually like a fairly uh, um, simple one. Maybe it's not good enough. So again, with this QR code again, it's just. It's just a really, uh, it's a really good QR code detector. We can just see like if we have these more simple ones, uh, we actually like, get better detections compared to the more complex ones. But again, it depends on your applications and project uh, that you want to do. But this is a really nice QR code detector that you can build on top of if you want to create your own applications, projects, and so on. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, remember to subscribe button and bell notification under the video. Also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future. It just really helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. 
So I also have a computer vision tutorial where we go over like all the basic image processing techniques, some different kind of algorithms, optic detection, stereo vision, how we can use like two cameras to get depth information. You can try to combine that uh, with this QR code detection as I mentioned earlier in this video. So if you're interested in that tutorial, I'll link to it up here or else in the see next week guys. Bye for now.